So our second task is what price to charge. So a company that sells movies online is deciding how much to charge customers to download a new movie. So based on the data from previous sales, the company predicts that if they charge X dollars for each download, then the number of downloads in thousands is 18 minus X. So for example, if we have a price of $3, we do 18 minus three, and that gives us 15,000 downloads. And then to figure out the revenue brought in, we do three times the 15. So we multiplied these two columns to get that. So to continue that, if the price is five, we do 18 minus five. And you can use the calculator here. So 18 minus five gives us 13. And then here, um, what we would do is go five times the 13 to figure out the revenue. And that gives us $65,000. And if we charge $10, we do 18 minus 10, which gives us eight. And then here we do 10 times the eight and 10 times eight gives us 80. So, so far our revenue is increasing. So here, um, if the price is 12, we do 18 minus 12 to figure out how many thousand downloads that is. Well, 18 minus 12 is six. And then we can do uh, for our revenue, 12 times six, which gives you 72. So our revenue now is decreasing. So then here, 18 minus 15 is three and 15 times three is 45. And then um, lastly, if we had uh, a price of 18, 18 minus 18 would give us uh, zero downloads and 18 times zero is zero. So in general, if the price is X, the number of downloads is 18 minus X. And then the revenue, we multiply these two things. So I multiply X times 18 minus X. Well, if I'm multiplying X times this whole thing, I need parentheses. So you can go X and then times 18 minus X. And here we could write this. This is gonna be what's in called factored form, but we can write this with an X squared term by distributing X times 18 is 18 X. And then minus x times x is x squared. So we can see that this function here is quadratic because we're doing the revenue function is really 18x minus x squared. And that x squared term makes it um, quadratic. So the relationship is quadratic. And what we can say is that X times 18 minus X is gonna equal 18 X minus X squared. And because the um, variable here or the uh, term here is squared, it's quadratic. So now if we were to plot these um, at zero, we would be at zero. Here I can just plot at five. The revenue brought in is 65, so I'm gonna estimate right there. Here, if my input is $10, the output would be 80, so 10. 80 is gonna be about right there. If we're at 15, you're at about 45, so here. And down here, um, 18 would be about zero again. So we can see here, we have a parabola or a U-shaped um, graph that points downwards. So what price would I recommend? Well, it looks that the maximum is around $10 because that seems to be where the revenue is the highest. 
And again, this is our price. This is our revenue. So a price of about $10 has the highest revenue. 